What's up, guys? Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition on PS4, even though I'd rather be playing on Steam. <laughs> but I can't because Gearbox still hasn't fixed the memory leak related to Angel's new digitized cutscenes. <laughs> But recently, I called out Killer6 for copying Cashew's 100% rolling playthrough on Borderlands 1, remarking that he's stated many and plenty of times that Borderlands 1 is his least favorite Borderlands in the series. So... It was pretty curious to me that he decided to do a Borderlands 1 100% rolling playthrough in the time frame that he did. However, I have since spoken to Cashew and he doesn't feel like he's been ripped off at all. So, if he's cool with it, so am I. But, what I am not cool with and actually, factually, downright kind of saddens me, is Schiller 6's depiction of the Borderlands 1 endgame. Giving up his quest for 100% completion because he just can't complete the content. This is now my least favorite playthrough of all time. Going as far to saying... The Underdome sucks monster penis. Even though he champions a boss gauntlet underdome in future iterations of Borderlands. And this is something I've brought up in the past as well. Tannis and Moxie need to team up and build a new underdome that specializes in digestructed raid bosses. A Motherfucker, how are you gonna ask for a boss gauntlet when you can't even beat a mob in arena? <laughs> so. I decided to watch his video and gear check his rolling to see where he went wrong. And the answer is... Everywhere. <laughs> First off, he's using a heavy gunner comm, which is typically Roland's best class mod. But he's using an elemental Lilith meta loadout consisting of the Hellfire, Orion, Double Anarchy, and Defiler. So, he's built for combat rifles, but not using any combat rifles. His shield is trash, and he's not even specced into Scatterfire, which is not only one of Roland's best skills, but is downright one of the best skills in the game. And it pains me to see Borderlands 1, my favorite game in the series, being depicted to such a large audience in such a bad light, with awful misinformation being spread, misguided players that might want to go back and play the game that started it all. But they're getting their asses kicked because they don't understand the game at a higher level and they're taking advice from somebody that doesn't understand the game at a higher level. Oh my God, bro, what the f***? Rolling is a squishy pile of dog shit. And that's when I decided to go back and finish what I started last year and bring you guys some updated guides on Borderlands 1 to help you better understand how to play this game at a higher level and maybe bring some newer players to the game and help them understand how one of the lesser played games in the franchise works and plays. And with Gearbox nuke in the forums back before Borderlands 3 was released. There seems to be a huge void of information missing in the community 
that's mostly lost to time. And I'm going to do my best to help preserve this information. Even if it's for posterity purposes. Borderlands 1 deserves a hell of a lot better than it's currently being depicted. So, my name is Jay. Morning after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Let me know in the comment section down below if there are any guides or information that you're just not clear on in Borderlands 1. <laughs> any videos that you'd like to see me put out, don't be afraid to put it in the comment sections down below. Trust that I understand that Borderlands 1 has an entirely different learning curve than the rest of the series. So not understanding something in the game isn't something to be ashamed of. Being a Borderlands content creator that can't kill Cromerax without using the ledge glitch in 2024 is. <laughs> So, like I said, my name's Jay, more than after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later. Here